He and the FBI have dismantled. It's the same group they say is responsible for violence in the Butler Tarkington neighborhood last year. Now, according to authorities, this gang is connected to murders, gunfights, and dealing drugs. Jeremy Brilliant has tonight who is behind bars and who police are still looking for right now. A total of 15 people have been charged in connection with this investigation that centers around drug dealing and a virtual turf war here in the Butler Tarkington neighborhood. These nine individuals are currently in custody. Six of them were arrested over the past couple of days. Three were already in jail. And police are still searching for these six people. All of them face drug charges and allegations of gang membership. The so-called Get Money Gang is most notably connected to the murder of 10-year-old Deshaun Swanson. He was shot to death while attending a memorial service for a relative on Graceland Avenue. He was not the intended target, but rather caught in the crossfire in the middle of a gang war. It was believed that um, that the shootings in particular that were occurring in Butler Tarkington had arisen as a part of a tit-for-tat retaliation that started with a fight at the Indiana State Fair. The people in our city who traffic in drugs and guns will not terrorize our citizens. Of those already in jail, 20-year-old Landon Tompkins, he's seen here in the back seat on the left-hand side. He's accused of shooting cab driver Ricardo White back in 2014. Besides the arrest, police confiscated 17 guns, also cocaine and marijuana, as well as more than $32,000 in money, all associated with this gang. If the suspects are convicted, they face lengthy prison terms, potentially double the amount of their normal sentence. That's because they're connected, allegedly, to a gang. Back to you.